That man's anger. His rage. It had a familiar sting that I... I cannot place. He was raving, Sigurd. Without sense or reason. Pay it no mind. I am not mad, Eivor. These things I see and feel, I know they are true. I know, brother. Now more than ever, you always spoke true. We should cast our eyes towards home. It's a long journey and I am not well. Home. Eivor, on our journey here, I had much time to think. On the ecstasies and the agonies of our friendship. I cannot return to England with you. That is not my home. Not now. What are you saying? I know about you and Randvi. Our love is tryst in spite of me. I should challenge you for such a betrayal. But I'm... I'm not fit for such a fight. I... I understand. Is that all? Do you recall the day we stood before Edwin, searching for the Sacker Stone? You struck Basim. You lashed out at me. You made a fool of us all. That is not a leader I wish to follow into death and glory. You are being secretive then. Foolish, I thought. But my grievances go back further still. You stole my father's riches. My haste to leave, I should have stopped you then. A true leader would have stopped that thought before it took form. You were selfish. This is not a decision I make lightly, Eivor. You are family. You were my drinker. But here, our paths must diverge. Fate has drawn you here, brother. Back home, where you belong. Have no worry for what you leave behind. England is too infected with ugly memories. I will stay here, in the land that gave me life and strength. Just as the prophecy warned me. Prophecy? Years ago, before we left England, I had a vision, a prophecy that I would... ...that foretold the course of my life... ...up to this moment. You never told me this. And has your prophecy come to pass? I... I do not know. I think it has. But not because I chased it. Well... ...I hope for your sake... ...that you grow well into the role you've earned today. That hope is all I have left. I will try. I promise.